Hey y'all, it's Pastor Billy. I'm the senior pastor at Trinity Lutheran in Bloomington, Illinois, and I've got my helper here today. This is... Josiah. And he happens to also be my son. Josiah is going to uh, read with us today and share his own reflection a little bit later on. And uh, so we're going to actually double down today. You're getting twofer because yesterday, obviously, I was absentee on the devotion day. So today's daily devotion is going to finish up First Peter and still share a little bit of a psalm since it's Psalm Saturday. And uh, so our first reading we're going to do is First Peter chapter 5, verses 12 through 14. And it's just the, the final conclusion that Peter shares at the end of the reading. So, take it away. Peter's final greetings. I have, I have written and sent this short letter to you with the help of Silas, whom I commend to you as a faithful brother. My purpose, is writing is, my purpose in writing is to encourage you and, and assure you that what you are experiencing is truly part of God's grace for you. Stand firm in, in this grace. Your sister church here in Babylon sends you greetings, and so does my son, Mark. I greet each other with a kiss of love. Peace be with you all of you. Peace be with all of you who are in Christ. <laughs> the kiss of love. Now, during COVID-19, I would not suggest you go around kissing your brothers and sisters in Christ right now. That may get some looks from other people and from them but uh, really that was their gesture of brotherly love they would call it a kiss of brotherly love um, and uh, a greeting so it, it makes me think about uh, and I'll share two questions like we're going to do this back and back um, it made me think about the way that that Peter and Paul as well in the Bible when they when they start their letters and when they conclude their letters um, there's just some powerful language in there and and so in this passage, uh, he really wants people to, to, to walk away with the right kind of lens, like that this was supposed to be for encouragement. And uh, he also, at the very end, he says, peace be with you who are in Christ. And so he's, he's sharing the peace of God as a part of his, his, uh, his farewell, his sign-off, you might say. And at the beginning, usually they're sharing the peace and love of God as well. So it has me thinking, what is your automated greeting that you share with most people? You know, everybody has kind of a different one. You may have noticed that on here, I'm usually always saying, hey, y'all, or howdy, y'all. Uh, that's a pretty common thing that I say. Um, you know, people will say, hey, how you doing? Sometimes they don't really actually mean that as a question. It's just their automated greeting. And uh, so, so, hey, how you doing? Um, and uh, there's many other uh, kind of common uh, ways that people greet each other. So I'm just curious to hear what yours is. And then, but the follow-up question is, is how can you intentionally greet others in a way that shares God's peace or his blessing? Um, a greeting that would be more intentional, I would say it that way. Um, I'll, I'll share this with you. There was a, a retired pastor in my previous city that I lived in. His name was Beezy. So we called him Pastor Beezy and his actual name was Beesenthal, but we called him Pastor Beezy. And uh, if you asked Pastor Beezy, you say, Pastor Beezy, how you doing? He would say, almost terrific. Now, he did that on purpose every time. Every time you asked him, almost terrific, almost terrific, almost terrific. And then, I, you know, one day I was like, Pastor Beezy, what would it take for you to be terrific? And he goes, one day I'll stand before the Lord and then I'll be terrific. Well, not that long ago now, actually, Pastor Beasy has indeed gone on to be with the Lord. And, and it was so powerful to see how many people, as they were sharing condolences, also said, now you're terrific. That intentional greeting and response that he gave every time opened up conversations. And whenever he is, has, has gone on ahead of us in the faith, people were remembering what he said. It stuck with us. And so I'm even sharing the story now. So, you know, it makes me want to wrestle with how do I greet people? How do you greet people? And is there a way that we can be more intentional as followers of Jesus uh, to share his peace, his blessing in that interaction? All right. Now, the psalm today is uh, Psalm 68. 
Psalm 68 is a psalm that was written during war, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of before and after uh, what we read today that will be fairly graphic war language, okay? Now, when I read this, Josiah was next to me, and I said, boy, I don't know how this can be, tra we're not in wartime, how could this be translated <laughs> to us and be meaningful today? So, what did you say, Josiah? I said that since we're not in war, to help us understand something, uh, to help us understand uh, this part of the reading um, better is that it's like we're in war because we're like fighting co COVID-19 to fight it away. Pow! Pow! And that's exactly how he did that. So you got the authentic version. You even got the paya pow, which is pretty awesome. So I, I appreciated that even my son, who's you know eight years old, he says. He says, well, it's not war like we're used to thinking about war, but he's like, Dad, but we're fighting off COVID-19, right? And so it's like, you know, an atmosphere of war in a certain way. So I love that, right? So, all right, so here's the psalm that we're going to share. It's Psalm 68, and it's 17 through 20, okay? Mm -hmm. Psalm 68, verses 17 through 20. And uh, you can read the whole psalm if you want to to get the full context. But these verses, I think, uh, will we'll be able to be reflected on. Surrounded by unnumbered thousands of chariots. That does not sound good, right? Uh, the Lord came from Mount Sinai into his sanctuary. When you ascended to the heights, you led a crowd of captives. You received gifts from the people, even from those who rebelled against you. Now the Lord God will live among us there. Praise the Lord. Praise God our Savior, for each day he carries us in his arms. Our God is a God who saves. The sovereign Lord rescues us from death. Now, a little bit of what they were referring to was the uh, exodus, actually, from Egypt. And uh, if you read before and after this, you'll be able to see that. And then you kind of get why there's a referencing of chariots, right? But I appreciate this uh, that Josiah shared with us today that that during this time, it feels like you go out and it feels like you're at risk and you never know whether or not you might, you know, get infected with this thing. And yet, Scripture comes to us and says, we have a God who holds us in his hands and he cares for us and that he would show up and rescue us. And whether that's the way we hope for on this side of heaven to rescue us from this disease or even to rescue us from the eternal impact of death, um, both of those, in fact, are a great blessing that God gives to his people, that he would preserve our life now and sometimes decide that it's time to welcome us into the eternal life that he has promised us. Well, those are our, oh, here's the question, I guess, that, that I should throw out there. It's written in the description. It's how does the language in this psalm comfort you during this pandemic? We shared a little bit of how it, it, it spoke to us, and uh, you guys spent some time sharing how it comforts you. Hey, thanks for going on this journey to this point through first peter for doing some saturday uh, psalm days with me um i'll be back monday and i don't know with what yet so you'll have to come back monday to figure out where our daily devotions go from there let's let's pray us out of here heavenly father we thank and praise you um that you speak to us through your scripture uh, we praise you god that you would have people share your blessings with us and, and pray for your peace to be upon us. Thank you, God, for being our rescue and for holding us in the palm of your hands, even now during COVID-19, when we're experiencing so much uncertainty and a little bit of anxiety. Consume us with your peace, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all, look, Sue says, thanks, Pastor Billy and Josiah. Hey, we'll see you, well, probably Monday. Probably not the same time, but yeah. the same place. Okay. God's peace to you.